Welcome to Healing Hearts Health Sanctuary Kitchen. We thank you so much for joining in today and those that are also watching from overseas. It's so exciting to be able to showcase you another cooking demonstration um, for those that are joining us live as well as those that will watching, uh, be watching the recording when it comes out. And we pray that you enjoyed the last cooking demonstration. Mm. And um, today, me and my sister Lindsay here will be showcasing two recipes each. Uh, it is a breakfast special, so I hope that you'll be taking some notes. But if not, we'll be also sharing the recipes at the end of the recording. Um, and so we pray that you'll enjoy the demonstration today. And we're just so excited, aren't we, we Sister are. Lindsay? Number two. Yeah, we really are excited. And we just want to thank you all, Cho, those that have supported us along the way. We have teams around the world who um, some of you are joining us tonight and we're just so um, grateful. And uh, yeah, may you be blessed with these recipes tonight from, um, from our kitchen. Um, there's one thing also that afterwards we will have an open forum for questions and answers. So please feel free to do that, um, just type in the chat and uh, we'll do our best to answer any questions that you have. And always, as we say, if we can't answer them, we will go away and uh, do our research and come back to you to make sure that uh, you do get um, a satisfaction answer. All right, with that, um, we can't start with a word of prayer, so let us yeah. pray. Our dear, kind and loving Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to be able to showcase uh, just plant-based cooking recipes, Lord, and we just thank you so much for those that are joining us live and as well as um, those that will be joining, uh, re watching this recording. I pray that you bless this time, Lord, and bless the viewers. For this we pray in your name. Amen. All right, so our first recipe that I'm going to show you today is one of my key favorites for breakfast that I have almost three times, four times in the week, and that is a super nourishing blueberry smoothie. So what you'll need is a powerful blender, and we've got, uh, this is Sister Lindsay's Ninja Bullet here that I'm using today. And um, we've got two cups of blueberries, hopefully that you can see this here. So this just has been thawed out, but you can have it straight frozen. What I usually do is, because it's still um, the end, well it's spring now in New Zealand, but for those, you know, that are still not adjusting to the cold, I thaw it out so it's not as cold. So just, this is two cups of uh, frozen blueberries that has been thawed. Alrighty. So that's just a handful of spinach here. This is also frozen and that's thawed. And you can either use um, you can use even fresh spinach if you have that in your garden. Um, sometimes I use kale if I've run out of uh, frozen spinach. And then you've got your one banana here. Sometimes I do one to three bananas depending on um, because they're very nourishing as well. You know, your bananas and your blueberries. So I'll just get this knife here. And then one of my favorite ingredients, chia seeds. So you need about two tablespoons of this. And you can see this is my own um, container here. You can see it's quite big because I use chia seeds quite a lot. I usually have two tablespoons every day because it's full of um, omega-3s which is really good for you and just the same as well with flax seeds so we just need one tablespoon here and then you need about one cup of soy milk so I use um, in New Zealand we have the macro brand 
um, very cheap, organic, um, and it's non-GMO soy milk. It's got good uh, calcium in it, about half the recommended um, intake that we need. And as well as um, soybeans are full of protein, which is really good for those that are plant-based. So we just need a cup of soy milk here. Alrighty. So we'll just put the soy milk to the side and then you can see if you need a bit more soy milk, um, just on some people like their smoothies quite thick, some quite um, runny. So it just depends on your preference. I like mine about in the middle. And so this is essentially all you need for your blueberry smoothie. And what I like about this blueberry smoothie is it's full of antioxidants and that's because of the blueberries. Now, you know, some of you guys know that uh, blueberries are probably the highest um, antioxidant in the fruit uh, kingdom, would you say? Um, and it's really good for your brain health, um, total body health, actually, for your heart. And that's because of the power of the blueberries in there. And it just really helps eliminate those free radicals that, um, you know, it just happens all the time and so it's just attacking those free radicals are just attacking us whether it's you know from the food that we eat and that's why we do encourage plant-based um, foods and as well as you know the environment that we go around us so once uh, you put this in the container here just make sure it's nice and tight and then we're going to put it straight into the Nutribullet and blend that for about one to two minutes so just see how thick you like it. If you need to add a bit more soy milk, you can. But I think that's yeah, that's perfect consistency for me. So there you have it. That was really, really quick. Just put that to the side and you can see how just wonderful the colour is with that all that blueberry in there. And then all you do is Let's get a straw and there you go, that's your blueberry smoothie. I scoop out the blueberries because they're from a frozen pack which is from here in our local pack and save. They have this massive 1.8 kg so for those that are in New Zealand this is from pack and save and it's about $15 so really really uh, affordable um, and it's just really great you know it comes in 30, so you see, 36 servings so what I do is I pack in one cup in each of these, or two cups, and it's just really easy to place into the cup in the morning. So quick and simple. So that's our blueberry smoothies done, and we'll can, we can put that on the side there. And so our next uh, recipe that we're doing is chia pudding. So this one, this recipe you can have for breakfast, and you can have it for dessert, which is one of my absolute favorites as well. And so all you need is, especially for those that uh, like to meal plan, or, you know, really, really busy with work or have kids, um, it's really just easy to do it in advance. So what I do is I put it in a container like this or even in jars. And so you need about a third of a cup of chia seeds And so you can see how much uh, just these ingredients, they're just full of antioxidants. Chia seeds is another ingredient full of antioxidant. Really good for your brain health and especially those that would uh, have high blood pressure as well. Really good for your heart. And then you've got a tablespoon of pure maple syrup or you can use honey if you like. So a tablespoon of this. And then you just need one and a half cups of soy milk. 
Now, if you're not really a fan of soy milk, you can use other plant-based milks like almond, um, cashew. I think they even do, yeah, definitely there's rice milk. So it just depends on your preference. But I love how soy milk tastes. It's just so smooth and creamy. So one and a half cups. This is the other half. So that's, and then all you do is stir it. Hopefully you can see that there. And you can see how easy that was. That was so quick. So quick to prepare it. And then you just let this sit overnight. So you do it. Uh, just before the day before the day and then you let this sit or even a few hours uh, it's just really really simple and for those that uh, don't really know what chia seeds they swell up when you put them in liquid so they be they become quite swollen and they almost become like a jelly like consistency and you'll see that later on as soon as I finish mixing this and of course we prepared one in advance so you could see what it looks like so just give that a really good mix so you can see that it's quite liquid there so just close that up in your jar or in your container put that in the fridge overnight and then I'll show you the one that I prepared earlier so here it is and i'll come to the camera and you could see how thick it's gone and quite almost jelly like and like a pudding consistency so that's what happens when you put chia seeds in the liquid and so that's pretty much already if you're not liking the consistency and you're wanting it to be a bit runnier you can definitely add more bit more soy milk and now all you need to do just in the morning so this is about two servings um, and so when you can just divide it up into a container or uh, you, your glass and then you just serve it up with hopefully you can see that just mixed berries frozen as well it's just so cheap and easy to have so frozen blueberries frozen raspberries strawberries here as well for those that are not fan of berries you can use frozen mangoes or fresh mangoes or fresh blueberries your favorite fruit essentially And for those who watched the last cooking demonstration, Sister Lindsay used a specific recipe for a carob mousse and she prepared a topping. And so this is the exact same recipe, which consists of a quarter cup of coconut threads. I didn't have any coconut threads. I had coconut uh, shaving. So I just chopped that up um, into but smaller pieces and uh, a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds and as well as as you can hopefully you can see that they're pumpkin um, sunflower seeds and all you do is you put it in a pan no oil just dry roast it as you can say and make sure that you keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn and so you just sprinkle this on top And there you have it. So that's your chia pudding. So quick and easy for your breakfast. And hopefully that um, you can see how simple it is to eat plant-based, especially for breakfast. And in the previous cooking demonstration, we had a lunch option as well. And it's just so easy and it's just so yummy, full of antioxidants, full of fiber, especially your chia seeds. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to see your creation soon. Um, 
just online or you know on the Facebook groups and we'll hand it over to Sister Lindsay now and she's going to share what she's going to make. I'm over here now at the stove top and I'm going to be cooking first of all some uh, wholemeal oats with um, different additives of uh, goodness. So what I've got here in the pot is for one serving I've got a quarter of a cup of wholemeal oats and a small handful of raisins and three quarters of a cup of filtered water and um, this has been soaking overnight all right now the reason I soak it is so that then our gut has a um, easier way of digesting it rather than straight out of the packet um, I use the wholemeal oats rather than the rolled oats because they are more um, to their natural form rather than if they're rolled and crushed, um, they then are a little bit um, processed. So trying to keep it as into its natural condition as possible. Uh, so that's the wholemeal oats. And so just getting this heated up here um, so that it will thicken and uh, come to the boil and, and bubble. Um, so while I'm waiting for that, I'll just tell you a little bit about the goodness of these ingredients uh, that um, will be helpful to you for your health and digestion. Um, now rolled oats con contain beta glucans um, and they have anti-carcinogenic properties in them. They're also very low in the glycemic index so that's something that's really worth um, knowing about uh, also very high in fiber and uh, the wholemeal oats rather than the rolled oats have been processed um, less time the rolled oats as i said are um, processed longer so um, they'll just create a healthier gut environment and the raisins, um, who would ever believe, but um, they are wonderful for dental health. Um, you wouldn't have thought that, but uh, in actual fact, um, they are very, very healthy for, for your teeth. Um, and they've got lots of nutrients that actually clean the teeth at the same time. So there you go, good old raisins. Uh, so just waiting for this now, it's uh, starting to bubble and uh, I like to actually uh, eat this all year round. Uh, it used to be a favourite for me in the winter but now um, with uh, what I've uh, produced and my um, own personal likings of these uh, rolled oat, uh, sorry, wholemeal oats is uh, just something that um, I find is really, really. Uh, I can't, uh, I can't uh, pass them by now each day. Also, they are really good for um, giving you all that nourishment that you need uh, when you're breaking your fast. To take you right through to uh, a lunch time, round about two o'clock. Actually, I find. So there you go. Okay, we're coming to the boil now. So um, you can see that they're starting to thicken up. So we'll just give them a, about a minute more and uh, you know, they're getting nice and creamy. Uh, the raisins are beautifully and uh, swollen up and plump. And uh, that's what we want. So couple of more seconds. Uh, you will notice that um, I am stirring them all the time. Uh, something I would just like to remind you of, don't ever leave a pot when you've got it on the boil uh, because this will burn so, so quickly. Um, and then you'll have to wait till the next day to get some more. So just keep yourself there on the, on the stove pot with your spoon. Just about there. Oh, um, one thing I didn't tell you that I have added too is some chopped up fresh ginger. Now we know that uh, 
ginger is very good for the gut it's very good for digestion and from a mental health point of view it's very good for lowering anxiety as well so and it just gives that beautiful uh fresh taste to it um by putting in some freshly chopped ginger right so i think that's about ready now turn the heat off and it's going to pour that into my bowl now first of all what i like to do is i'm going to layer up my um, wholemeal oats so i've got some really nice flavor on the bottom as well as um sprinkling on the top so the first thing i like to put in um, the bottom of my bowl is some ground linseed uh, flax seeds and we know that uh, flax seeds are very high in omega-3 fatty acids which are really really good for um, things like digestive health constipation really works well keeping um, us nice and um, frequent with our um, movements and also it um, helps with lowering total blood cholesterol as well so that's the linseed flax seeds and then some sunflower seeds uh, yep and uh, these are really really good also uh, for lowering that cholesterol as well and the last thing I add is some sesame seeds so I just sprinkle those um, oh, I put them in the pot never mind I'll just sprinkle the rest of them on the bottom that's fine and uh, yeah flax seeds are a super source of uh, vitamins and minerals and they have great B vitamins in them and um, they can reduce also your appetite so you know you're not wanting to go um, searching for something to eat in between so I'm going to layer that now into my bowl that's come up to a lovely thick consistency which is creamy as you can see and now on the top I am going to pour in some maple syrup Again, um, lovely pure maple syrup, which is a lovely sweetener. It takes you away from using that refined sugar that uh, a lot of us have been um, brought up with. So just pouring some of that over the top. That's about a teaspoonful. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some chia seeds. And Sister Thea told you all about the goodness of chia seeds. So here we go, and some pumpkin seeds, again, great source of minerals and vitamins and all of these are very, very good for lowering um, the blood cholesterol. And there we have it, there's the wholemeal oats um, and I, again, um, will just use a plant-based milk on mine with some, pouring some almond milk on it and um, it is so yummy. So for those of you overseas who are coming into a winter, there's a new breakfast that you can try, which uh, will fill you up and you'll know that you've had all the goodness of plant-based uh, ingredients. Here we go. All right. All right. So now for the next um, a recipe that I'm going to make. Now, this is something that you can have for breakfast but you can also have it for those of you that are on the run when you're um, up and got to be out the door quickly uh, a great snack to take with you they can be eaten any time of the day but uh, we're just putting this now in our breakfast uh, menu and these are called um, carob oat balls so again using the wholemeal oats as our um, base for the ingredients so I'm going to go now to my food processor and in that I'm going to place one cup of the wholemeal oats. Okay. And then two tablespoons of organic carob, carob powder. Now carob powder is a far more natural uh, ingredient than um, cocoa powder. Uh, it's got so many great um, nutrients in this as well and uh, the taste is yummy. So 
a couple of tablespoons of ferro powder. Okay, and now we're going to have one tablespoon of maple syrup. And we're going to put in one tablespoon of coconut oil. This gives it a lovely coconut um, flavour coming through the the, uh, the carob balls. Um, and coconut oil is one of the best um, natural plant-based oils that you can have. And so what I'm going to do now is just going to pop it in the microwave Go, that's turned to liquid. I'm just going to pop that in with some rest of the ingredients. And now we're going to have a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So, there we go. A teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Okay, and we're going to put in half a cup of cranberries. Cranberries, again, are a wonderful source of antioxidants. And they just give a lovely tangy bite to the ball. Um, so wonderful balance of sweet and a little bit of sharpness to, to them. And then we're just going to mix them up. Okay, so you can see they're starting to mix up together, uh, but um, if they are not combined together, then uh, I'm going to give this a little bit more uh, mixing, but uh, what I'll do is probably just then add a little, little bit of water until it forms itself a big ball. So just give it a little bit more air. So now we've got a nice crumbly consistency so now I'm just going to add while it's going pulsating just get a little bit of water okay so we can see that now starting to really form a ball so I can see it just needs a little bit more water and then it will start to just go round in one big ball and there I think we have it. I'm going to scrape down the sides. That looks great. It's all come together in one ball. Okay, so... Now what I'm going to do now is from here, I'm just going to show you how to, how to finish these off. So you just take it and it's it's a bit of a sticky consistency but um, we need it to be combined together so we can then just rub together and make a ball in our hands. Comes together really, really well and then put some shredded coconut here and just pop it in and get up a couple more. Yummy, delicious wholemeal oats and carob balls. Yummy to go on the go and they're very filling as well. Here we are. Now I just shake it around, toss it around a bit in the bowl just to get a little bit of um, coconut coated on them. And that's them done. So over here I made some earlier on today and there you go. You can serve them to your friends um, when they're coming um, for a snack or 
just pop them in a little container with your lunches and take them with you. Or as I say, a wonderful thing to have if you just have not prepared anything the night before, but you just feel like you'd like a bit of um, a good substantial breakfast, just full of nutrients and uh, just all good plant uh, based ingredients. So you know you're eating well. All right. You can see, guys, those that are watching, you know, the time right now is here in New Zealand, 7.37. And we have made four different recipes in that short amount of time. Obviously, we did a bit of preparation beforehand, but you can see how quick it is to just put it all together. And like, I can almost even want to eat one right now, but I'm <laughs> going to stop myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> this... should actually. You can give a good feedback. Here you go. Try sure, all right. Stuff. And it just smells amazing. You can smell the clan. Mm. All right, let's just give me a taste. I won't speak for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just full of all those wonderful nutrients mm. and um, all those vitamins and minerals that uh, you know, we know we're getting, which is good, but you get that yummy taste with it as well. Exactly. Mm. Quite a mouthful, mm. for sure. So don't mind me. <laughs> so don't forget to type in your questions or if someone wants to speak, hopefully that's available. But we'll just, if my sister Lindsay can oh, show oh, her, thank you. her oatmeal. And you can see the smoothie. It's changed colour, so... It is more beneficial that as soon as you make it, you drink it. But what I do sometimes is if I do make extra, I freeze it. And that just saves keeping the nutrients in there as well. Mm -hmm. And I'll just show you. You see four wholesome breakfast recipes that you can try. I hope if anyone has any questions, please type them down. Or even those on the YouTube uh, recording later on, if you do have, we'll answer them in the next cooking demonstration. Or if you have any suggestions on what we want to make later on, we do want to try and make, uh, you know, these cooking demonstrations at least every month. Mm. Christmas is coming along and so the next one we will try and make it a more like a Christmas special edition so for those that you know love Christmas and all of that we'll do plant-based recipes as usual um, just more in the Christmas side of thing uh, theme of things but uh, if there's one question awesome This one um, I just call um, wholemeal oats, breakfast oats, and um, just got the added nuts and seeds to it, uh, the raisins. So just wholemeal, uh, natural plant-based oats. But we'll post up the recipes so you can see them and you can connect the the ingredients with the with the recipe. And this one here is called. Uh, Carrot and cranberry balls. Okay. Just a follow up question on that one from the cooker. Yes. Can you, can you eat them right away or do they have to be cooled or frozen? No, you can ask sister, you could see she ate one straight away, but you can cool them. I do put this in the fridge, I'll put this in a container now in the fridge and uh, you can take them out and eat them cool. It's just your own preference. I prefer them to be a little bit um, room temperature. That's my personal preference. Uh, and you could also freeze them as well if you wanted to. Yeah, it's true. And my recipe was simply just a blueberry smoothie, but because of the extra added uh, two cups of blueberries, it is full of nourishing, like antioxidants. So it's called a nourish, super nourishing blueberry smoothie and then the chia pudding 
very simple, <laughs> very quick. As you can see, quite filling. I don't think one person can eat this all, so definitely two servings、um, for this recipe. And like Sister Lindsay said, we'll post them、um, after the recording, and hopefully we will able we'll see you guys next time round, and、um, mm. you guys can keep following us on our、mm. Facebook page. We'll do regular updates. Like I said, we'll post the the recipes there and on the YouTube channel as well. We also do have an Instagram page if you're on that platform as well.、Um, but please continue to just see how the the Lord、mm. just works through this ministry. And we thank you so much for your support for those that are watching in New Zealand as well as of course overseas. We thank you so much for your prayers、mm. and your love. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah, thank you. So, with that, we'll now close off with a word of prayer. So, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, again for your plant-based food and how you want us, Lord, to eat this to be healthy, to be strong, and to be wise. I just praise you, God, for your great creative hand. You knew exactly、uh, what your Uh, creation needed, and so we just ask now that、uh, you will bless those who have been watching, and、uh, may they continue, Lord, to seek after your wisdom to be healthy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys, so much for、yeah. watching. We'll see you next time on our live cooking demonstrations. Yeah. God bless. God bless. Bye.